it really doesn't get much better. Chasing a bike, chasing the leaves, through Vermont and New Hampshire in October. Old Guy on a Bike presents 106 Days on the Road. Come join me on my travels from Newfoundland to Alabama and back again. Okay, thanks Bruce. We'll, yeah, you, you'll be able to tell whether it's sunny or sunny, like, just wa keep watching the channel. <laughs> I'll be posting on Facebook. All right. Okay, that was great. Bruce and Joan put me up for the night, fed me, and uh, now we're on our way. Into that Honda shop. Two years ago, I picked up uh, rear brake pads there. I usually gas up in the evening, but I didn't last night. So I top up the tank, and first we're on our way to Brattleboro. Then we'll head off to Gorham, New Hampshire, but I end up in Bethel, Maine. I have every intention of camping tonight, either at Moose Brook State Park or at Dolly Cope National Campground. Of course, this is early in the day and intentions are always made early in the day. It's a beautiful day to be on the road. It's not too warm, but it's sunny and dry. And as I'm getting north, the leaves are changing more and more. Lots of golds, lots of oranges, and occasionally there's a nice little flash of red. In Hoosick, New York, there's the Big Moose Deli and Country Store. They've got a whole lot of moose and cow sculptures sitting around the place and on the roof. One of these days, I really have to stop and just get something there. I just have to.
Vermont Maple Museum. Did I come through here on my way down? I almost feel like I might have. No, I didn't. I don't think. I don't know. I just know I've hit some very, very beautiful roads on my on my travels. It's the kind of a day where being stuck behind a tanker isn't all that bad. But I must admit, I was really happy when he turned off. So I'm on my way to Brattleboro. I'm going to meet my friend Brian there. And although he did give me an address, I had punched in Brattleboro to start with. So, of course, the GPS takes me to downtown. I get to do a nice little tour through the place. And then I've got to get back up on the highway to get out to where we're actually supposed to meet. I'm just a touch early and I'm desperate for a coffee, maybe a donut, and certainly a washroom before we actually get together for lunch. Brian and I meet up and go over to the Saxton River Distillery. Unfortunately, they don't serve food this time of the year. But Brian does gift me a bottle of their maple inf infused bourbon. Very, very smooth. I uh, made it last till Christmas Eve. So if we can't eat there, I guess we're just going across the road to Fast Eddie's. Well, that certainly had an old-fashioned jukebox diner type of feel or vibe. Small place. They mostly do takeout, pickup. I can't quite remember what I had, but it was certainly filling. Okay, just had a nice lunch with Brian from New Hampshire. And we're going to now head up the highway. Or maybe not. I left most of my auxiliary stuff on and this battery is getting a little bit on the old side. And we got a dead battery. After having similar problems about three times earlier this summer, 
I finally broke down and got a booster pack. I've used it once. Now I've used it twice. I think it certainly made up its cost. Although we're going to be sticking to the interstate for the first part of the afternoon, it's a relaxing ride. It's also a pretty ride. It's just a great day to be out on the bike. Now if I only can get Brian to pass and get out ahead so I've got something else to focus on, We don't have helmet-to-helmet -helmet communication, so it's time to get off the highway just to confirm what our route is going to be for the rest of the afternoon. Neither one of us are really in that much of a hurry.
Eventually, it is time to get off I-91. Stop at a Dollar General for snacks and a washroom. Okay, I seem not to have had the, the uh, had the camera on for a good little portion there. Just too bad because it was a pretty nice portion. So we're on Route 10, and this is a section I have not had my GPS put me on before. Um, I have connected with Route 10 up here a ways. Beautiful old buildings here. This is Lisbon, New Hampshire. So Brian is letting me lead with the GPS now. In the afternoon, well, it is getting later in the afternoon. It's also getting cloudier. Still being a pretty ride, but the sky is dull and getting gray. Yeah, definitely the first time through this this road. Bethlehem, New Hampshire. Again, some grand old architecture. The camera is trying to cope with the changing light conditions and I'm just starting to get that feeling of wanting to wrap the day up. It's been a really, really nice day, but been on the road for a while and just have that feeling that it's time to, time to get off the road. I think we've missed Jefferson and the um, Santa's Village. I just got a big drop of water on my nose. I do try to have patience with other people pulling trailers because I'm pulling a trailer. But on this road where there is no passing lanes, it's a little annoying that he's actually turning and going the same way I am.
eventually everyone turns off. There starts to be signs that has been, if not raining, at least it's been drizzling along here. We get into Gorham, New Hampshire, which is a, a really common stopping spot for me. I'm just going to pull ahead and I'm making an executive decision. I'm going to check with Expedia if I can find anything reasonable in the next 30 minutes I'm going to take a hotel room. I don't want to deal with the cold and the wet tonight. Out, huh? I'm wussing out tonight. I've been fighting the cold too, so it's like. Man, they're expensive. How much? Well, I'm seeing three and four hundred bucks. Oh no, no, no! And other places, like the one next door, requires two nights. That's but the, Mark, it's a holiday weekend. Yeah. That's what's going to screw you up. I'm trying to think, of what's between here and Skowhegan? You don't want me to answer that, do you? What? You don't want me to answer that, do you? No. Very, very much. Farmington, New Mexico? I hope not. Ah, shit. So, yes, I booked uh -huh. a room in... Farmington, New Mexico, not Farmington, Maine. No wonder the room was only 80 bucks. And it's day of, Expedia can't, can't refund me, and I'm not spending time trying to get a hold of the hotel. Brian and I part ways, he's got two hours to get home, and I go to Bethel, Maine. I've found a reasonably priced place here, and it's actually going to be a pretty good evening. I get checked in. I actually go buy it first and have to turn around, but I get checked in. Go down the street to a nice little pub, crowded Friday night, have a bison burger. It's great, but the best thing is there's a guy by himself playing and singing and he plays Richard Thompson's Vincent Black Lightning 1952 
I don't know if it just made my day so much or it's the fact that I'm not going to need American money after tomorrow. But it made me happy to hear it, so I put 10 bucks in his jar. No, it was a great evening. And now tomorrow, I'm going to be on my way back into Canada. I've been in the States for just about a month this trip, in this stint, and it's time to really feel like I'm going home. So thanks for coming along. We'll see you in the next video.